After stops at Elon and Rowan College at Gloucester County, Shane Clower arrived at Towson in August 2019 and that fall earned a spot in the rotation for the 2020 season. Days before the season opener, he suffered an elbow injury that would require four surgeries over a two-year period that kept him off the mound. In February 2020, he had ulnar collateral ligament reconstruction, better known as Tommy John surgery, then in 2021 had procedures for bone spur and scar tissue removal. Last February, he endured a second bone spur removal surgery. On February 18th of this season, he finally made his Tigers debut, 1,272 days after arriving on campus. Most people would have hung it up way before 1,272 days. Um, they just don't have that type of desire. They don't have that le level of commitment. They don't have the drive that Shane Clower has. Why not? I have nothing to lose. No, I just didn't want to give up on myself. And people were telling me that I may never be able to pitch, pitch in a game, throw a baseball again. I just didn't want to listen to them because I knew my body. I knew how hard I worked. And I knew like I can do this. I can figure this out and eventually get, get back on the field. It's a tribute to him. It's also a tribute to the way he's been brought up. You know, his, his mother and father run a restaurant, so you know what that business is like. And his father is, was a, a former All-American swimmer. So he comes by his athleticism naturally, but his drive, it's, it's in the family genes, so to say, and it's apparent that that's, that's what he's about as well. In his first outing, Clower threw three shutout innings versus Southern Illinois, striking out three while allowing just one base runner. We all just sat there and held our breath when he threw the first pitch. And, you know, I'm an emotional guy as it was, and it wasn't hard to, to wipe a tear away right then because his father was in the stands, and I got a chance to look over at him, and I saw him do the same thing. I was just really locked in on the game, just like, I can't believe I'm out here right now. I didn't feel a thing, honestly. I was just, adrenaline was rushing, so focused on the game, pitching, and I couldn't write a better story about like, how I performed that day. I was just like, is this really happening? It's like, how am I doing this right now? It's like, I haven't faced a, an opposing team in years and like, I'm just shutting them out one by one, two, three, every single inning. It was really, really just a very touching moment. And, and you don't have those like, like this, you know? Maybe in the big leagues you do, but those guys are making $40 million. I mean, here we are just trying to play some college baseball. Clower has pitched every Saturday so far this season, and Coach Matt Tyner gave him a spot start against UMBC earlier this week, where he struck out a career-high four batters in two innings of work. And he's just pushed through. I'm, no, push is a bad word. He's plowed through and just kept coming back, kept coming back, and it was just undenied. It will be a feel-good story, regardless of the outcome this spring, regardless of the record, whatever it is, I get a chance to witness quite possibly the comeback of the year in the NCAA. So many people have reached out to me this past spring or this, this spring so far about my story and everything. I think it's amazing like what I've done. They say like, wow, a lot of kids in your position, they probably would have hung it up and quit so far. It's like you're a very special person to be able to go through this and hang in there.